the second straight year, Rochester, New York was the site of the Women's Division III Ice Hockey Championships. Last year on this ice, Norwich University won its first women's national hockey title. Back in town, the cadets looked for the repeat, and they faced Gustavus Adolphus again in the semifinal. Tied at three in regulation, the game was settled four minutes into overtime. Senior Julie Fortier redirecting a shot past the goalie to send the cadets back to the title game. The other semifinal was also an overtime thriller. On their home ice, the Rochester Institute of Technology skated against their New York rivals, Plattsburgh State. The game-winning goal came two and a half minutes into the extra period. Ariane Yokoyama hit Lindsey Grigg with a perfect pass, and the freshman put the puck home to set up a title game rematch with Norwich. For Yokoyama, the 2-1 win was a moment to savor. It's an honor being just a Final Four contestant, but also playing against your rival team is just, it just ups the level of the competition so much more, you know, and winning it is the best thing that could ever happen, pretty much. <laughs> a Tigers team captain, Yokoyama's assists are not just limited to the ice. The junior forward helped RIT recruit two friends from California, forward Courtney Kunichika and goalie Laura Chamberlain. Um, I brought my best friend. I played with her since I was in like, eight in roller hockey. Uh, she was actually getting recruited by like a couple D1 schools, but you know I like persuaded her to come to RIT. And Laura, she also played roller hockey with us. Me and Courtney kind of worked on her bid, and like we got her to come to RIT with us. My best friend Ariane, she got the assist today, the winning goal. We just get along really well, just the connection we have, and um, she's amazing to play with my best friend. When I was about 14 years old, I switched over and started playing with them, so it's kind of nice to be on their team instead of playing against them. With Ariane coming here first, during her freshman year, she was telling me about a couple of her friends back home that, you know, that were dynamite players that weren't getting maybe the looks that they, uh, that they were looking for, and we went and pursued them aggressively, and they ended up coming. Now RIT must aggressively pursue Norwich, the team that once again stands between the Tigers and a first national title. The relaxed defending champion feasts on big challenges. With another RIT title showdown on the menu, Norwich's NCAA Division III Player of the Year Julie Fortier gets ready for the final game of her stellar college career. I couldn't ask for a better uh, senior year. The team's playing well, we came all together, we have good team chemistry and uh, we have a lot of talent, so I'm not worried for next year. Uh, they're going to have a good team for the couple years to come. Last year, Norwich defeated RIT 5-2 in the championship game to win its first national hockey crown. But that was then. This is now. The vocal Tigers fans had their game faces on, the Ritter Roar was in full force, and the RIT players matched the energy of their fans, creating a flurry of chances that tested Norwich goalie Kelly Fiss. But Fiss denied the Tigers' early barrage. At the other end of the ice, Tigers netminder Laura Chamberlain was also at the top of her game. Midway through the first period, RIT broke the deadlock. All-American defenseman Christina Moss scoring on the power play to put the Tigers up one to nothing. The celebration was short-lived, though. Division III's highest-scoring team, the Cadets, soon demonstrated why. Jackie Perez charging the net to jam home a rebound to tie the game at one. In the second period, the Cadets' offense could only get off four shots as RIT dominated. But Fisk in the Norwich goal made 12 saves to keep her team in the game. But the Fisk dam finally broke just over a minute into the third period. Celeste Brown took a perfect feed from Courtney Kunichika to put the Tigers ahead 2-1. Midway through the third, Brown returned the favor. Her hustle setting up the chance for Kunichika to double the Tigers' lead. Norwich's Julie Fortier tried to rally her team, but the RIT defense kept the nation's leading scorer bottled up all night. For the All-American senior, her final game was a frustrating experience. Flying Tigers, it was anything but frustrating. RIT's historic evening was capped by Allie Hills. The senior slamming home a rebound from the slot to extend the Tigers' lead to 4-1.
The only thing left was for the scoreboard clock to complete the countdown to history. And when it did, RIT's first ever women's national hockey title celebration got underway. It was a moment of jubilation many of these players had waited a year for, including the Tigers' ice school California sisterhood. We worked so hard for that, and uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words, but it was uh, just so fun watching our girls play tonight.